Also tonight, we're hearing from experts about what that anti-inflammatory drug is typically used for and why it could be dangerous for horses racing on it. Our Grayson Passmore has the details. An event full of prestige, long-standing history, and a good bit of controversy. If the lab is able to detect the substance, it constitutes a violation. Another Kentucky Derby winner making headlines after Medina Spirit failed a post-race drug test, according to trainer Bob Baffert. An initial test finding the anti-inflammatory drug betamethasone in his system. In treating injuries and allowing a horse comfort while it recovers, um, but if you use the medication to treat the horse and then continue pressing it with training and racing, you put it at risk, increased risk of injury. While Baffert says he never treated Medina Spirit with the drug, Executive Director of Racing Medication and Testing Consortium, Dr. Mary Scully says the trainer has a right to have a second sample tested again. The vast majority of our medication violations are errors, mistakes, and not the result of nefarious decisions. Executive Director of Animal Wellness Action, Marty Irby, is concerned following the alleged incident. The animal entertainment industry has serious issues. Horse racing is no exception. Irby was a leader in the fight for the Horse Racing Integrity and Safety Act, a uniform national standard for drug testing in the racing world, as well as creating one overseen entity. The legislation expected to go into effect 2022. As long as the current status quo is maintained, more horses are going to continue to be drugged and more horses are going to continue to die on racetracks all across the country. We just have to wait on the results of the second sample to see if Medina Spirit's win on the track stays in the record books. In Louisville, Grayson Passmore for the Fox 56 10 o'clock news. And Dr. Scolay says if the second sample is positive, the Kentucky Racing Commission would begin their investigation expecting cooperation from Baffert. She says there would be mandatory disqualification and then penalties that could range from suspension, fines or both.